Good day, Faith friends! Hi, I'm Cherry. Welcome to We Reflect series. I'm so blessed that I was asked to share with you all my reflections for today's Gospel. Our Gospel today is from St. Luke chapter 11, verses 27 to 28. The Gospel is very brief, but it has a very important significance because it gives us the key to understand what it teaches us about Mary, the mother of Jesus. The woman in the crowd appreciates about what Jesus has said, praising and blessing her mother. But Jesus asks us to focus more to her mother who was obedient to the words of God. The true source of Mary's greatness was not on her being chosen to be Jesus' mother, but was faithfully honored to the day she stood in grief at the foot of the cross where she heard the word of God and she kept it to the very end. Mary teaches us how to accept the word of God, how to incarnate, live it, deepen it, make it burn and grow, and allow it to shape us even when we do not understand it, or even when it makes us suffer. Mary is the model who listens, keeps the words and puts into practice. For us, we must do the same. We have to open ourselves, accept His words, so we can enter into a relationship with Him. We have to listen, and to listen means we have to heed, to have an attentive ear. We must also keep the word, and keeping the word is like sowing the seed, allowing it to take root. It presupposes a climate in which it can germinate and become rooted in our hearts. Once we have heard the word, we must make it stay on us not keeping in cold storage, but allowing it to grow to successive stages in our lives. Most importantly, put into practice. Those words are useless at, unless applied and put into action. Just like Mary, we should be obedient to God and allow His words to shape us to become the righteous person He wants us to be. True blessedness is accepting the Word of God and applying them in our everyday lives. Be a hearer and a doer at the same time. Lastly, these words should also be shared to others so they too can enter a close relationship with God. Let us always pray and let it be, Lord, give me the strength to always obey your words. That's all, faith friends. Always stay healthy. Don't forget to visit us at www.faithbook.ph or download the Facebook app and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Facebook.ph. Thank you all and have a blessed day.